there's been a dramatic improvement in the reading skills of students at Noble Central, a K-12 school in Nobleford. The success is mainly due to a new approach in teaching literacy throughout the school. Two years ago, when Kathy Oviatt became principal at Noble Central, a school-wide assessment of student reading skills shone a light on some disturbing numbers. We were really surprised in our building when our data came in and we had 80% of our kids below grade level, which meant 99 kids were struggling in my building with reading. Of those, 52 of them were more than three grades below, which I think we knew that kids were struggling, but we didn't realize the extent or the depth. The shocking numbers were revealed through an assessment process called Fontas and Pinnell Benchmark System which is used throughout the Palliser School District. Through extensive one-on-one -on -one reading sessions held twice a year, teachers evaluate each student's reading ability. The results determine where each student needs work. Then strategies are put in place tailored specifically to address areas of concern. The power of the tool, though, isn't in the giving of the assessment. It's in the deeper analysis that comes later as teachers take a look at what kids are doing why they're struggling, and then what strategies does each individual child need to become a better reader. One of those strategies includes restructuring class time to allow for more student reading and to give teachers more time to work individually with students. Desiree Lamb is a teacher who also runs a school's poetry club. She says Fontis and Pinnell assessments were a wake-up call, providing valuable information for teachers and students. Well, I think it exposed some concerns, right, and things that we needed to address. And I think any teacher, all teachers, their concern is for the kids and wanting to do the best, right? So that gave us the information that we needed. And once we got that information, then we were able to deal with what we needed to deal with to rectify the situation. By focusing on individual students, and providing them with strategies and supports to improve their literacy skills, reading levels among students at Noble Central have made an impressive turnaround. Our data was pretty good at the end of last year. March this year, we took that 80% and dropped it to 14%. We took 99 kids who were below grade level. We have 23. We had 52 kids at risk. We have 10. And of those 10, those, those 10 kids are getting extra supports over and above what we know how to do. We didn't bring in experts to, to work with our kids and pull them out of classes and give them extra help. We just took the collective knowledge of what we had in our building, we pooled what we knew, and we started doing the right things at the right time strategically for kids. And that's what made the difference. With the school's focus on literacy, students are becoming more aware of developing their own reading and writing skills. One area that is seeing an increase in student interest is poetry. Whether it's in class presenting their composition to classmates or in the recently formed Poetry Club where students and teacher prepare for the upcoming Provincial Poetry Slam competition. For me it was a natural progression to go from um, from what they were reading and then giving them the opportunity to express themselves. I have choices and my words are not insanity. I do have feelings and I still have my individuality. What you did with your life was your own choice. Again, but the I moment. The ref again. announces its goal. The ice losses as we raise our glasses. We cheer once more. The music turns nice and loud. Then on goes the cheer alarm. Louder, louder and louder we go. Everybody. Literacy is all time. about Cheering, spoken word as well. Reading. It's not just about reading what's on a page, but it's about expression of what you've read and how that's impacted you, and then spoken word comes into it, and, and you're, you're putting it out there for everybody. J followed by K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. This combination of letters strung together from the form the alphabet, which can be strung again and again to become a weapon more powerful than anything we know. Words hurt, so here's one more. Stop. For Principal Oviatt, the importance of literacy cannot be overstated. The ability to read, write, and comprehend are the keys to student success in school and in life. We're um, preparing these kids for a world that isn't even invented yet. 
And so if they don't have the means by which to interpret um, all kinds of literacy, media or auditory or visual literacy, then we're doing them a disservice.